the iPhone 7 has been leaked again. So there have been a lot of leak parts recently, showing a finalized casing for both the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Pro, multiple camera module leaks, and apparently we're also going to get a brand new darker color option for the iPhone 7, which simply looks insane. So hey everyone, welcome to the Zen of Tech, I'm Daniel, and yeah, welcome to my iPhone 7 leaks and rumors series, and as always, here's everything you need to know in terms of all these new iPhone 7 leak parts. Enjoy. Okay, so starting off with number one, the design, we have some brand new casing leaks for both the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Pro as well. And those casings were posted to first shots and also nowhere else but fronts, and they show both the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus or the iPhone 7 Pro, it's most likely going to be called a Pro by the way. But yeah, in terms of the design, unfortunately all of those new casing leaks confirmed everything that we've already known before. That the design of the brand new iPhone 7 is going to be pretty much identical to the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6s, yes the antenna lines are not present in any of the casings, so we are only going to get the top and the bottom antenna lines, which in my opinion makes the iPhone look much much better. But let me know what you guys think about those antenna lines, do you think they look awful on the iPhone 6 and 6s? Do you prefer having an iPhone with no antenna bands at all? But yeah, unfortunately this is going to be the only major design change that we'll see with the iPhone 7. Next up, number 2, we've also had quite a lot of camera module leaks. So starting off with a 4.7 inch model, the iPhone 7, you can probably see that the camera module is much much larger than on the iPhone 6s. So this means that we'll see a much larger aperture on the iPhone 7. Currently with the iPhone 6s we have an f2.2 aperture which is quite small. For example, on the Galaxy S7 we have an f1.7 and yeah, the larger the aperture the more light can get to the camera camera sensor and the better the camera is in low light. I mean, just take a look at this shot. iPhone 6s versus Samsung Galaxy S7, the difference in low light, well, you can probably tell that the difference is just huge. Now, the iPhone 6s already has a larger sensor size than the Samsung Galaxy S7, so if the iPhone 7 is going to have an f1.7 aperture combined with the current sensor, well, the, the camera is going to be actually really, really good in low light actually better than the Galaxy S7. And moving on to the iPhone 7 Pro or the iPhone 7 Plus, we've also had quite a lot of new part leaks that show the dual camera sensor, and interesting enough, all of those leaked iPhone 7 Pro parts, all of them show the exact same camera module. So this is most likely how the iPhone 7 Pro is going to look like. And speaking of the iPhone 7 Plus and Pro and the iPhone 7, there have been more reports suggesting that Apple will actually sell three different iPhone 7 models, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, and then the iPhone 7 Pro as well three iPhone models. Remember the time when we only had one iPhone to choose from? The price and the capacity for all the models have been leaked as well and I'll be discussing these in a few minutes. But yeah, next up number three, that headphone jack is still missing. The headphone jack is nowhere to be found in any of the new leaked casings, but yeah, unfortunately the headphone jack is definitely going away. And I talked about the headphone jack going away in this video, my iPhone 7 finding some rumor series, the first episode, but yeah, let me know if you want me to do a more in-depth video just on this, on the headphone jack going away, because there's quite a lot of advantages of actually ditching the headphone jack and also, obviously, quite a lot of disadvantages. Long story short, you actually get a much better sound by having a DAC and an amp included, but yeah, let me know if you want me to cover all of this in a separate, more in-depth video. Okay, Daniel, headphone jack going away, well, this is not anything new. Well, there have been new reports suggesting that the iPhone 7 won't actually come with any lightning headphones at all. Instead, Apple will apparently ship an adapter which is actually quite good because with that adapter you would be able to use any headphones you want. And it's not just that, but that adapter will also have an amp and a DAC included, so you would actually get much better sound from your old headphones as well. So yeah, I would definitely prefer having an adapter instead of lighting headphones, but to be honest, I would actually prefer having both, both lighting headphones and an adapter as well, although Apple is definitely not going to include both in the same box. Number four, the fourth new league, this is pretty interesting, the iPhone 7 will actually be really good for traveling. Now this is not 100% confirmed, but we've had some leaked parts showing dual SIM support. So just like many other smartphones, especially the ones that come from China, yeah, Chinese smartphones, a lot of them actually come with dual SIM support, the iPhone 7 might just come with dual SIM as well, so you would be able to pop in two SIM cards and yeah, this is this is ideal for traveling. Now, also in terms of SIM cards, the Apple SIM might finally make an appearance on the iPhone as well. So in case you don't know, currently, if you get an iPad with both Wi-Fi and cellular, it also comes with an embedded Apple SIM. So if you go to settings on your iPad, you can actually choose different data plans from different carriers, and you can pretty much switch your data plan at any time you want. This is really, really useful for traveling, 
and if the iPhone 7 is also going to come with two SIMs, well, the iPhone 7 is going to actually is going to be the best phone, the best smartphone for traveling. Moving on to number five, the fifth big leak is in terms of the iPhone 7 Pro. And yeah, in terms of the iPhone 7 Pro, all the casing leaks do show this brand new dual camera module. So Lynx Technology is actually the company that developed that dual camera sensor for the iPhone 7 Pro. And they also have a patent on how to reduce image noise by using two different camera sensors, obviously at two different ISOs and also different apertures. And then combining those two images, you would be able to greatly reduce the image noise. So this is most likely what the iPhone 7 Pro will use that dual camera sensor for, reducing image noise so the low light photography will be even, even better. And then number two, the second feature of the dual camera sensor would be to zoom in a photo or a video without you losing any image quality. And that's because one of the lenses is a telephoto lens and the other one is a macro lens. One of them takes zoomed out shots and the other one takes zoom in shots. And then the software will combine those two images and you will be able to zoom in without losing any quality. So it's basically like having optical zoom, a fake version of optical zoom on a phone. Pretty cool. But yeah, if you want to know more about the iPhone 7's camera sensor, everything about Lynx technology, because they actually have way more functions for this, including 3D imaging and depth mapping. I covered everything in my iPhone 7 phones and rumor series part two. Yeah, that's a 15 to 20 minute video discussing the camera, the dual camera module, and the specs as well. What else in terms of the iPhone 7 Pro? Well, there have been more reports suggesting that the iPhone 7 Pro will actually come with three gigabytes of RAM when compared to the iPhone 7, the regular model that's only going to come with apparently two gigabytes. And I don't know, but it's quite sad to see that the larger model, the iPhone 7 Plus or the Pro will get so many features when compared to the regular model, the iPhone 7. If you take a look at the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6S Plus, the iPhone 6S Plus already has a better display. It's a 1080p display. It also has a much better camera because it also has optical image stabilization. Now apparently the iPhone 7 Pro is going to have a much better camera. It's also going to have more RAM and it's also going to still have a much better display. Now if you take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, those two phones have exactly the same specs, same amount of RAM, same processors, exactly the same cameras, even though the Edge is much more expensive. They even have the exact same display, exactly the same resolution. Nothing is different between the two models except for the fact that the Edge is curved and it's also much larger. And obviously it also has a much larger battery being larger. Well, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I personally prefer having a smaller model, so I personally prefer the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 7 rather than the iPhone 7 Plus or the iPhone 6S Plus. And having so many differences between those two phones, the larger model being so much better, while Apple is kind of pushing us to actually move to the iPhone 7 Plus or the iPhone 7 Pro. Number six, this is a pretty big one actually, a brand new color option for the iPhone 7. How does this iPhone look like? Or this one? Or even this one? They all look really, really awesome. So yeah, there have been reports suggesting that the iPhone 7 will actually come in a brand new color option, a darker blue, a dark blue color option. And Martin Hojak, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name correctly, Martin made those really awesome concepts based on that new color and oh boy, the iPhone 7 looks insane. Now there have been some new reports on this suggesting that the iPhone 7 won't actually come in this really awesome dark blue color option, however it would come in black. Not a black black black, but a darker space gray instead. So for example, if you take a look at the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6s, they come in the space gray color option. But now if you take a look at the Apple Watch and the 12-inch MacBook, they also come in space gray, but this variant, this version of space gray is much much darker than the one on the iPhones. The iPod Touch 6th generation also comes in space gray, and yeah, this space gray is also much much darker than the one on the iPhones. So in my opinion, this is the space gray that we're going to see on the iPhone 7, the same one that's on the Apple Watch and the same one that's on the 12-inch MacBook. What do you guys think about this brand new color option? Do you think it looks epic? Do you think it looks awesome? Do you prefer the space gray on the iPhones or the one that's on the 12-inch MacBook and the Apple Watch? Or would you prefer a darker blue iPhone 7? Let me know in the comments. And finally, the last important leak that I want to cover in this video is number seven, the models, the price, because the price has also been leaked, and the capacities. So there have been quite a lot of reports and leaks coming from China suggesting that, yeah, the iPhone 7 will come in three different models, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, and then the iPhone 7 Pro. The 16 gigabyte option is finally going to be dropped. However, we're also going to lose the 64 gigabyte model as well. So the iPhone 7 will come in 32, 128, and 256 as well. As for the actual prices, this is how the iPhone 7 models will be priced in China. And yes, they're quite expensive. And yeah, as you can see, there's a huge price difference between the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, and even the iPhone 7 Pro. Now, these are only the prices for China, outside of China, so for the US and UK, the iPhone 7 will still start at the exact same price that the iPhone 6S starts today. So $650 or 540 pounds in the UK for the baseline model. So for the iPhone 7, this would be the 32 gigabyte model, and then the price will go up based on the capacity and the model. So the baseline iPhone 7 Plus will be priced 
as the 128 gigabyte iPhone 7 and then the iPhone 7 Pro will be even more expensive so that would be the same price as the 128 gigabyte iPhone 7 Plus. So these were all the latest leaks and this was also a really really long video so if you've made it to the end of this video let me know in the comment section down below by saying I've made it to the end of this video hashtag iPhone 7 iPhone 7. And also if you have enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one, more iPhone 7 videos. And also don't forget to check out my main series on the iPhone 7, my final leaks and rumors series. And yeah, that's that's my most in-depth series. I have three episodes, 15 to 20 minutes long each, yeah, almost an hour in total. That's the main series and in that series I cover everything even more in depth. So if you have enjoyed this video you're probably going to enjoy that series, my main series as well. Also feel free to follow me on Twitter at Zone of Tech for more iPhone 7 related updates. And also let me know in the comments which feature, which iPhone 7 feature are you most excited for? Is the new camera module for the iPhone 7 Pro? Is it, I don't know, the new color option? Let me know in the comment section down below. Finally, don't forget to turn on notifications on my channel for both desktop and mobile on mobile by simply clicking on that bell icon next to my channel so that you're notified as soon as I upload the brand new epic video. But yeah, this was a really long video once again, so huge thanks to every single one of you that made it to the end of this video. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. It's enough tech, signing out. Cheers.